Zero accounting software, export to Excel, profit and loss or income statement reports. Get ready to be an office hero with Zero. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. We set up in a prior presentation, scrolling in a bit, holding down control up on the scroll wheel, currently at 175% zoom in. We're gonna open the demo company, but do so by resetting the data, resetting the data and opening the demo at the same time. We'll then open up a couple tabs to put our reports in as we've done in every presentation. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it. Right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate it again. Back to the tab to the middle, accounting drop down. We want that balance sheet report. Go into the tab to the right, accounting drop down. We're looking for the income statement, profit and loss. Back to the tab to the middle, we'll hit the drop down on the date, customizing it and take it on up to 2022, the end of it and update. That's the setup process we've been doing every time. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. We've been focusing in on the income statement and thinking about how we can compile our data in order to give it to a client and do so as efficiently and nicely as possible. So last time we created some new reports with the income statement that we might bundle together and group them along with what we put together for the balance sheet report. So now we have all these reports that we might want to be adding. So the next strategy we might have is to continue exporting our reports to an Excel sheet and then use Excel in a PDF printer to make one uh, PDF report with all of our reports on it. So we'll continue with our strategy with this. Uh, now we've got the Excel report that we started last time in a prior presentation of the balance sheet reports. If you don't have this, that's okay. You could start a new one and just practice this technique. We're going to add then a couple other reports, income statement reports, and then use a PDF printer to print them all on one PDF file. So let's go back on over. I'm going to just create these reports quickly again. So the first one, let's just do a standard income statement this time. So I'm just going to say a standard income statement. I'm going to right click on this, this tab, duplicate it before I do that. So I'm going to have my standard income statement on the left and then the one we will modify. The only modification I'm going to make to start out with is to say that I want to get rid of the decimals. So I'll get rid of the decimals. And there we have it. So now that looks good. Let's save this one as just the standard income statement. So I'm going to export it to Excel. I'll say open up Excel, export it. You need Excel in order to do this. I'm going to open it in Excel. And then I'm just going to basically copy this information onto the report that I want it to include it on or the workbook I want it in. To copy it, I'm going to select the entire thing with a triangle and then I'm going to say control C or right click and copy. Go on over to our Excel file we want to put it in. Add a new tab at the bottom. I'm just going to double click on the name and call it an IS or income statement. Put my cursor in either A1 or select the entire workbook or worksheet and control V or right click and paste just normally and there it is I'm holding control and scrolling in a bit so there we have it I'm not going to do a lot of more other fancy formatting but of course once you have it in here you can do other formatting once in here then I can go to the file tab I can uh, print it I can print it using a PDF printer this one's a free printer that you could check out I'm not trying to advertise for them or anything but that's an option if you don't have one and then we can print the entire workbook which will include all the reports, including the last one we put in. 
Notice it's left aligned right now. So you could do some work to try to center the report on the page and so on with some formatting. I won't go into that in detail at this time. I just want to focus in on this technique because it's not an Excel course, but there's a, a useful tool that can be used. All right, I'm going to close the other report that we had here and do it again. So let's go back on over and I'll save this one as a, as a custom, I'll say income statement number one, income statement for, uh, for, I'll just call it income statement. And then we'll save it there. So that's in the custom reports. So if I wanted to line them up, if I went to the first tab here and I went to my accounting and reports drop down, then I go to the custom area. We have our custom report. Then I'm going to create another one. So this time I'm going to go back to my normal profit and loss, right click on it, duplicate it. And that will be my starting point. And this time I'm going to create that vertical analysis, but I think there's an easier way to do it. We were doing it with the, with the layout tab. And if you hit this drop down here, they actually have a percentage of income in here already. So that's a nice deal. So I'm going to select that and get rid of the decimals and update it. And so now we've got like our vertical analysis. I'm going to call this vertical analysis something like that i probably spelled it wrong and we're going to say you've done it a hundred times you should spell it right by this i know but whatever so there we have that let's update it and then i will open up that in excel just a bit put that one there and i'll also save it let's save it in our custom reports report number two vertical analysis let's say and I'll paste that, uh, let's say, vertical analysis, 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 income, income, I know how to spell that one, statement, okay, save it, open this one up, and then I'll copy the entire sheet on, on that one, so I'm going to say, enable, I'll select the triangle, control C or right click and copy. And then I'm gonna open a new tab where I wanna put it, hitting the plus button down below. I'm gonna say an income statement vert or something like that. Put it in A1, control V or right click and paste special. You have to be in A1 or select the entire workbook, worksheet, I mean. And there we have it. If you go back, to the file tab and we were to print this now we can print the entire workbook using the cute pdf printer and put this on a pdf so that's our end goal let's make one more over here just to 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 uh put the last one in place i'm going to go back on over we're going to go to another one let's do an income statement so let's go to the original income statement right click duplicate it pull that on over to the right and we'll start to build one from this one this time let's do a a one that has multiple periods and so let's do it with the quarters again and then maybe a total on it so i'm going to say let's go to the fiscal drop down and i want to say this quarter so let's start with this quarter and then also add to it the prior quarter update it so there we have it and then i'm gonna i'm gonna add them two up this time for the two quarters just to show that one so i'm gonna say let's edit the layout and let's say i just add another column and i do it with a formula clicking on it we're gonna say i want this one plus this one i'm doing this fast because we've seen it before but notice how how nice that is and I could just get the total this is the total and I'll go ahead and update that one and then we'll call this the income statement income statement quarter or something like that by quarter so now we've got first quarter second uh, or the last quarter the prior quarter and then the total right we could do that we could add more quarters if we wanted to do four quarters on it so so but i won't i won't do that now 
So let's go ahead and export, let's save that one. I, I'm gonna say custom and save that one. I'll just call it that and say, save it. I can export it as well to Excel, export it as well to Excel. We'll open that one up and copy it over, enable, select the entire worksheet, control C or right click and copy, and then back on over to where we want it, add another tab, double click on it, income statement. I'm gonna say cute quarter or something for the quarters. I know I'm, I could name these better. I'm gonna select the entire worksheet and right click and paste it. So there we have that. Now this one, I've got to expand this last column a bit. Does it all fit on one page? I can check that. Looks like it does, so that looks good. So we'll keep it there. I'll save it and let's go back on over. I'm gonna delete this one. I don't need that. I'm gonna delete this one. Don't need that. And then let's do one more, starting with the original income statement. Right click, duplicate it, pull that to the right. And this one, I'm gonna do that difference kind of thing this time. So let's do it with the quarters again. Let's go to this quarter. Let's say we wanna see uh, the prior quarter too. Boom. Then I wanna see the difference between the quarters and I would like to see a percentage change, horizontal analysis type of format. Edit the layout to do it. And I'm gonna say uh, delete changes, add a column with, with uh, form you lie. And I want it to be this one minus this one. And then I'm gonna call that the difference and then add another column with a formula. I'm gonna select that and say, this is gonna be the difference divided by the prior period. Boom, I want that showing as a percent, please. And this is the percent difference, something like that. Update this one. And so now we've got another fancy report done fairly uh, quickly. I could. I should be removing the decimals on all of them because I that's what I've been my that's my custom so then I'm gonna say this is gonna be a, a comparative I'm gonna call it a comparative compare comparative income statement I'll copy that name and then go on down and say that I want to custom that one comparative income statement boom Export it to Excel, export to Excel, open it up in Excel, add the final report to our Excel worksheet that we're gonna be doing here. Enable the editing, triangle up top, copy the whole thing, minimize, add another worksheet to our workbook, double click on the name, income statement comparative or something like that, cop, income statement cop comparative comparative and then put our cursor in a1 or select the whole sheet control v or right click and paste so there it is there it is so now once we have these set up we could do more formatting on them but just note that now we have a fairly significant amount of reports that all relate to roughly the same period that we might want to put on one pdf file that we can give to someone at one time which has the reports in order that we want to put the order in them and we can give uh, easily to someone so i could go to the file tab print it we could go then to the entire workbook that's a key component and you need a pdf printer the cute pdf printer i believe is free so you could check that one out then we have all this information up top it's not as centered as when we print the reports uh, to a PDF, but we could format them more if we wanted to do that and correct that fairly easily. So there's clearly pros and cons to any technique, but now we can get them all on one PDF file here, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and print it. So there it is, and let's uh, minimize and, and minimize, and I'm gonna save it overriding the reports here, and save it, boom, and then open up the reports. So now we've got our balance sheet that we did in a prior presentation. We've got our comparative balance sheet. We've got our vertical analysis. We've got our, our uh, income statement. And then we got the vertical analysis income statement. 
the quarter by quarter, which I should fix because it's messed up down there. Comparative income statement all in one area. And people can then, of course, sort around in the PDF file pretty pretty nicely these days because of the, the uh, easier use of programs these days makes things a little bit nicer. Okay, so let's open back up. Uh, here, also note if I go to the first tab that we have now saved these in our reports. I didn't do it as meticulously as I have before, but you know we've got the custom reports over here. Only the ones we created this time because we reset the data. But if I have all of my custom reports in here, then I can I can just uh, open them up whenever I need them, which is which is uh, quite nice. I might be providing these reports monthly, quarterly, yearly, for example. And uh, if we have it set up uh, cleanly, then we could just set the, the, the process one time and, and possibly assign someone else to print the reports or something like that fairly easily. We can sign out the task possibly.